Hey there, everyone. My name is Nathan, and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist clients from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. Now, one of the services that our clients most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device. Now, here with us today, we happen to have one of the brand new uh, well, brand new as of the date of this video, I'm not sure whenever you will actually be watching it, but as of the date of this video, they were just released a couple weeks ago, all of the Galaxy S10s uh, by Samsung. And this one happens to be a Galaxy S10 Plus. I don't know if it's going to pull that up on the back since it's so shiny, but we can take a look at all the information internally once we're done here. Um, but this is a device that does have the Google account lock enabled. We've actually purposely enabled it ourselves just for testing purposes here. So again, as we can see here, when we're going through the setup wizard, we get to the screen that says that the device was reset and then to continue setting it up, we have to sign in with the Google account that was last on the device. Now, this is a security feature that was enabled by Google back in Android 5 to where, again, when a device is reset without first removing the account that's on it, it's then going to ask for that same account again after the factory reset is done. They kind of enabled it as a uh, kind of a way to help combat some of the theft and the fraud that happens in regards to mobile devices these days, uh, since buying and selling used devices is such a big uh, segment of the industry. But over the years, we've been contacted by tons of clients who have asked us for help with this specific problem, usually either because they accidentally got themselves locked out of their own device when they didn't remember their screen lock or their kid factory reset the phone or what have you, and then they couldn't, either couldn't remember their information to get back in or um, they tried to reset their password and it didn't work or whatever the case may be. And then the second situation is, unfortunately, now these days, there are a lot of dishonest sellers out there who will sell a used device without informing the buyer that the lock is on there. This is something that's not very apparent to every person who goes to purchase a phone. And so if someone doesn't know to check for that, then they can be uh, unfortunately scammed into buying a device that has the lock on there. And then, of course, when they go to set it up as their own device, they run into this and they cannot get past it because obviously they're not going to know the login information. But basically, we're making this video to let all of our clients know that we do offer this service here for this exact model, the Galaxy S10 Plus, and that's actually something that we're running right now on our computer program while it's plugged in. So once that finishes up, we should see that the device can be restarted, and then we should be able to get all the way through the setup process without ever actually entering in any of the email or password information. It looks like my program actually just finished up, so I'm going to go ahead and restart the device once. And then we should be able to see that we can then get all the way through the setup without seeing that lock there. Again, so we've got the S10 Plus insignia showing there. And we'll give it just a minute to finish its whole boot up sequence. Actually, I can go ahead and unplug it now. Okay, so it's just coming back up here and we should be able to skip through everything now. Okay, so it says let's go, we're going to head and go. We have to agree to the terms and conditions. And then we have to connect to Wi-Fi here, which we already are, so we're going to hit next. Then it's going to try to activate the device. But that actually should just, yep, that's just going to skip. So we're going to hit continue. It's going to ask us if we want to uh, transfer older data. We're just going to skip. And it's going to check for updates. It's going to keep going. Keep checking. Okay. And so now, if you happen to notice, it's asking us to sign in with any Google account instead of the one that was specifically on the device before. So that is a very good sign. We're just going to skip that now. We're going to skip that. And it's going to keep going. There we go. We don't need a screen lock. We don't need any additional apps. And we're going to skip those. I uh, probably don't need any more recommended apps. Good Lord, they're really making these setup processes long these days. <laughs> we can just hit next. We don't need a Samsung account. 
Okay, so it fi finally says that we're all done. So if we just hit finish there, we should now be able to see. Yep, there we go. So we're now at the device's home screen. The Google Lock has been fully bypassed and we have access to all features and functions just as if it was a brand new device. And again, we didn't need any of that account information to do it. This is something that we just do with our computer programs and tools. So it can be performed for almost anyone anywhere in the world as long as they have a decently powerful Windows computer and a fast internet connection. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the settings here real quick. We'll just show you again what we are working with. Again, a Galaxy S10 Plus and then with the model number there, the G975U. That's the model number for the S10 Plus from every single US carrier because they're all one universal model now. So if you have a Galaxy S10 Plus and would like to get the Google account lock removed from it, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be found right down in the video description. And then I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all the info there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out all the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for lot of different devices and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy. Make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there to be notified of all the new videos that we're constantly adding just like this one. Y para todos los hispanohablantes nosotros también hablamos español así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great day.